Reef DVM is coming at you with an update and an install on the uh, Tahoe Pontoon Winter Projects. It's getting to be fall here, and one of the things that we wanted to fix was this, you know, Ram 1,600-pound winch that's on the front of this boat. Um, this is a tri-tune pontoon, and it runs on, you know, two sides of basically carpeted bunk. Granted, I wish we were in the saltwater area and I could get the plastic um, bunk guards on, but that's not a possibility up here. And this winch completely has failed, um, not by me alone, but even by previous. It's um, it's made for 1,600 pounds, but when you put it in the water on the shallower lakes and you try to work with it, it just, you know, struggles to, to get it up. And unless you're motoring your, your pontoon all the way up onto those bunks, um, it's just taken its toll. It's It's cut the line and up the plate and and just made things kind of a mess so the only thing i can say folks is is time to invest in better um just better quality all the way around i think some of these trailer companies just throw a 1600 pound winch on it just because they can this pontoon obviously weighs several thousand pounds so it could use a bigger winch either way so we went and got a one of these fulton winches this is the f2 it's a two-stage winch um, the material is quite hefty it's it's aluminum based it's got a much better um, uh, lockdown on the bottom of it. It's got a center one, and you're supposed to put two bolts in on the back, which is much better than the one that the previous one had. So I do have to drill through the plate and make some changes in the plate so that this can fit. Um, the plate on this trailer is actually a plate underneath and then a plate on top. So as you can see, I left one bolt in it to hold the bottom plate in place so that I can drill through both at once to make the holes line up. You notice there's some scratches on this. Again, that's from that previous winch. It had it torqued itself up so badly coming the last foot or so of distance uh, when, when pulling up the pontoon that it, it just wasn't holding up. And we got this thing drilled out. Um, and then the next step, believe it or not, is we're going to try and protect it. You know, even though we're not in the saltwater environment, you know, rust is rust and Minnesota has plenty of it. These shallow little lakes aren't perfect. Sometimes their uh, water is a little bit more alkaline or acidity based. So we're going to touch it up. So we got some touch up paint for the trailer and uh, we'll get this get this baby all touched up. I want to make sure that it, it just doesn't start rusting right away. So as long as it's fresh metal, time to fix it. Um, and it, it worked out really good. We, we put the touch up paint on first and then we painted the whole thing with a top coat. And then we bolt this bad boy on. And as you can see, uh, it bolts on quite nicely. It's It's got a three bolt pattern, which I snugged with a hand wrench at first. The directions do tell you um, to torque it down and they give you torque specs. So out came the torque wrench and uh, we'll, we'll torque it to the spec they want um, so that it holds. I really like how this one bolts on again where the, the torque is in the back of the winch and there's two great big bolts back there to help hold that down. And then of course, there's one in the front to keep it, you know, from going right or left. Has a really nice, um, you know, uh, cable on it, so to speak. Um, the process I like is that it's got a nice thick bar of metal, not just a bolt going through it that's kind of flimsy. It's got a bar of metal that comes in and pinches it between another bar of metal, and then when you rotate it around, it just tightens up like a mule. Um, that makes the strap so much tighter and stronger, and you're not relying on basically a nut and an end of a bolt to hold itself into place. You're relying on a bar. And if you notice that bar is about a half inch thick, the previous one had about a quarter of an inch thick bolt through it. Um, it wasn't even a, a real strong graded bolt. So i um, real pleased with how this is going and working. So the next step is, is, you know, wind the strap up in it. Again, this is a two stage, so you can wind it slower or faster. It does have a reverse. I really like that. Um, I've actually taken it out a couple times here this fall just to, to use the winch and get the feel of it. Again, I normally motor all the way up to about the last foot or two due to the shallow water, and then I crank it down with the winch, and this thing really does a good job. I always crank it straight in at first, and then I put the um, strap through the bottom and pull it down to the trailer for travel. And as you can see, I have it in the travel position here, and it's it's nice and tight. I brought this on and off the pontoon now three times with the new winch, and never had any movement or problems with it and never had to struggle. Appreciate you watching, folks. This is a great boat winch. I hope you like it. Please like and subscribe and show great support for our channel. Thank you.